है गाइज वेलकम बैक सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ एंड सेफ्टी विच इज हजार्ड मैनी ऑफ द कैंडिडेट्स और प्रोफेशनल्स फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट टू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन हजार्ड एंड हजार्डियस इवेंट फ्रेंड्स आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट Hazard is different and hazardous event is different. Many of the professionals try to define both the terms as equal as they are treating both of them as a single entity and make it very difficult to understand. Today I am trying to make a difference between both of them and we will be taking examples also pertaining to each category so let's start with what is hazard so hazard is anything it may be a source situation or act which has a potential to cause harm if i say source it means it may be a source which is electricity so electricity is a source which has a potential to cause harm so what is potential means so what i i am trying to say is when i say electricity is a source it it has a potential so potential means it is a inherent property of something or particular source which has a potential to cause harm so electricity has a potential to cause electrocution electrical burn electrical shock and that may lead to further incidents let's talk about situation if we talk about situation it means we are talking about condition so if i say what is condition is so let's take a example of condition a slippery or uneven ground surface a slippery or uneven ground surface has a potential to cause harm so slippery surface has a inherent property of causing slipping tripping of or fall of any person let's talk an example about act so if i talk about act i'm saying working at height is a hazard how a working at height is a hazard let's learn this working at height is an activity which has a potential to cause harm because while person or any workman or staff working at height there always an inherent property of this act which may lead to fall of person and fall of material let's distinguish both the terms when i say hazard and hazardous event when i talked about hazard i told you it may be a source situation and act when i'm discussing about hazardous event i'm saying it is an occurrence of hazard so what is the leading event of particular hazard which is causing the incident or consequences so hazard itself is not harming anyone until and unless there has been an hazardous event so what i'm trying to say is let's go and back into the same topic if working is working at height is a hazard so working at height is not going to cause any harm until and unless there is not an any leading event or hazardous event so in working at height what is the hazardous event is hazardous event is fall of person from height so what we have learnt is hazard alone is not harming to anybody until and unless there has been an exposure so to hazard 
to cause an harm to anybody there must be an exposure that is why i am trying to make a difference in both of these terms when i talk about hazard let's take a different example electricity suppose there is electricity which is an hazard if i talk contact with electricity part or contact with any electrical source is a hazardous event why i am saying it is an hazardous event is because electricity is not causing harm to anybody until and unless there be an exposure of any workman or any person so until and unless there will not be any contact of person or staff it won't be causing electrocution or electrical burn or injury so in this case electricity is a hazard and hazardous event will be contact with electricity let's take an different example there is a sharp edge so sharp edge is a hazard but contact with sharp edge is a hazardous event why sharp edge is a hazard and why contact with the sharp edge is a hazardous event again what i am saying is sharp edge alone will not be harming anyone until and unless there has been an exposure so until and unless there will not be any contact with the sharp edge it is not going to harm anyone so that is why i am saying sharp edge is a hazard but hazardous event is contact with sharp edge let's take an different example if we talk about rotating parts it is a hazard and what is the hazardous event contact with rotary part so due to contact with rotary part there may be an entanglement caught in between and leading to mtc or lta so what we have learned with this wholesome is hazard is anything it may be a source situation and act which has a potential to cause harm whereas hazardous event is a occurrence of hazard or leading event of hazard which is ultimately causing harm to person there are various type of hazard which are which we will be discussing in the next topic so today we have learned only about hazard and hazardous event if you like the video please like subscribe and share with your friends mm -hmm.